What's going on guys? We got the supplement segment, part two. And this time around, it's a popular topic. We got pre-workout. People start working out and it's like, you gotta jump on a pre-workout. You gotta do it. Jump on the pre-workout, come on man. Not so fast guys. You wanna make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Watch the video, I'll make sure you are educated on this and know uh, everything you need to know about pre-workout, all right? And if you guys haven't checked out uh, part one of the supplement segment, I suggest you do so. Click the link above my head right now and that one's about creatine. I'm gonna have studies down below on this one, just like the last time. If you're gonna come arguing, come with the facts, man. Thing is, I already got all the facts, that's why I'm making this video, so. Cheers, buds. Let's tackle these questions. Question number one. Pre-workout is a supplement that's taken pre-workout. Oh, now there's a fact, isn't it? The main reason you'd wanna take it is because maybe you're lacking some energy and a little jump before you hit the gym or before a big game. I'm drawing this out in the flow chart here. As you can see, low energy, take pre, get fired up, and then you turn into this guy and you make some gains. Ultimately, it can help increase performance slightly as well in these activities. And that comes down to what's in it, which happens to be question number two. So the main component in pre-workout is caffeine. Why? Because caffeine actually works. Everybody knows that. And what caffeine does, of course, is stimulate the central nervous system. This gives you a jolt and can actually bring your body to perform at a super physiological level. This essentially means that you can produce a little bit more energy than you would have otherwise. This will help wake you up a little bit as well. And if you're feeling a little bit lazy, you know, you're sitting on the couch, not really feeling it, caffeine can definitely give you a little boost, some motivation to get your ass in the gym. Now there are some other ingredients that are shown to work in pre-workout. I've got them listed here. So beta alanine, citrulline malate, and tyrosine. The first two I mentioned, as well as agmatine sulfate. These ingredients uh, help buffer lactic acid, okay? It prevents your muscles from burning out as soon as they usually would. And it also can trigger some better pumps in the gym. Tyrosine, on the other hand, is another stimulant which is gonna cross a blood-brain barrier. This is a fancy way of saying it's gonna help with your mental focus. Focus! A lot of pre-workouts also contain some creatine in there. And if you want more information on that, be sure to watch that video I recommended earlier. That essentially covers what's in pre-workout that's worth knowing. Any other ingredients that you find typically are pretty worthless. You know, they just like throwing in these fancy words. For example, dimethylaminothenolobitratetrate. 250 milligrams. Okay, so that is that is definitely key right there. Let's move on to question number three. So looking for a good pre-workout can be tough. That's only if you don't know what you're looking for. Now I've told you the ingredients. What you gotta look for is the full clinical dosages of those ingredients. I've got some listed here. Beta alanine, you're looking at about 3.2 grams to see effective results. Citrulline malate, it's closer to six grams. Tyrosine, you're looking at 250 milligrams. And creatine, as I mentioned before, three to five grams. For the caffeine, it's gonna depend on how crazy you are. Nah, but it's actually just gonna depend on how tolerant you are to caffeine, and also how much caffeine you're consuming outside of taking a pre-workout. If you're drinking like three cups of coffee a day, you're probably looking for a more lower caffeine content, if any at all. Now, if you don't take caffeine outside of taking a pre-workout and uh, you find that you can tolerate a decent amount, then you could look for a little bit more caffeine content, maybe something around 200 to 300 milligrams. Also, another thing that you're gonna wanna look for in a pre-workout is if it has some B vitamins, like niacin, vitamin B12, stuff like that. So it's actually cleaner energy and it's gonna help prevent a crash after the workout from taking too much caffeine. Now look out, because a lot of pre-workouts will throw these ingredients in, but underdose them severely to the point where there's no point of having them, but they're gonna convince you to buy it because it has the ingredient in it. All right, so that should help you determine what pre's are good and good value. Let's move on to question number four. Now the most important thing I would watch out for when coming to pre-workout is caffeine overdosing. Taking too much caffeine over a period of time could actually drain out your thyroid and it could cause other severe problems down the line. Now just as a heads up, recommended 400 milligrams of caffeine as a maximum per day. Any more than that, you're kind of pushing the limits there. And of course you could get dependent on it to the point where you have to almost overdose the caffeine to even feel any effects. So some short-term side effects to look out for when taking a pre-workout, you'll get something called the jitter. This comes from taking a certain amount of caffeine or maybe more than you're used to. Hands are gonna shake. You're gonna be ready for some gains. You might actually also feel some tingling or itchiness 
in the head area around your body on your arm stuff like that that's caused from the beta alanine it all gains though and you might also experience a crash shortly after taking the pre-workout or after your workout's done all right with that let's move on to question number five If you're a healthy individual, typically over 18 years old, honestly, I'm not sure why they say over 18, but if you're healthy, you don't consume too much caffeine outside of taking a pre-workout, and you've checked with your doctor first before taking any of those stimulants or ingredients I mentioned, honestly, go for it. You want a little edge in the gym? You know, you want some more gains? Who am I to say no? But one thing I will say, if you consume too much caffeine outside, like you drink a lot of coffee, and typically when you go to workout, you've already got tons of energy. You're vulnerable to any of the stimulants I mentioned, stimulants in general. And of course, if you have any heart disease problems or history of it in your family, something like that, then you know, maybe, maybe watch out for it. I mean, I think the kid's a band-aid, besides just me. That's pretty much it. I think I covered the most common questions when it comes to pre-workout. If you have any other ones, comment down below or message me, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Remember, studies in the info box down below as well. That's your pre-workout supplement segment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, help some people out. Remember, if you're trying to argue, see you never buds. See you never buds. Hold up, hold up. Actually, it's uh, my time to go to the gym now, so. Let's kill it.